broadcast from CSBK, Circuit Mont Tremblant for the Mopar Canadian Superbike Championships for 2012. And my pleasure to greet under the tent, uh, welcome back to Canada, Kenny Reedman on the Sturgis Cycle Triumph. Kenny, we've been watching your progress south of the border in the AMA Pro Series and the Daytona Sport Bike Series. And uh, let me suffice by saying you're getting awful close to the top ten. <laughs> Yeah, we've been working really hard, you know, just working a lot with our setup and our bike and just gaining more experience riding those tracks with those riders and we're getting really close to a top 10 and coming into the next AMA round will be New Jersey. I really like that track, I've had good finishes there last year and uh, so top 10 is definitely the goal and it would, uh, I think it's very doable and it would be awesome. So well, here we are back to Canada at the Mopar Canadian Superbike Championships, your first ride in Canada, my goodness, you're like a foreigner coming back home. <laughs> yeah, um, haven't done much Canadian stuff at the beginning of this year, just conflicting races with the AMA schedule, but didn't have any AMA races this weekend, thought we'd come out and play with the uh, Canadians and, you know, having a great time up here. What are your expectations at this racetrack, Ken? You've already been out on it uh, once or twice, perhaps, and uh, your thoughts? Um, well, it's looking like it's going to be wet all weekend, and uh, learning the track in the wet, I've never been here before, is slightly more difficult, but... You know, I think like, oh, the goal is to win. I really want to win this race, and uh, if that doesn't happen, that's okay. It's a rough weekend already, just with rain and getting used to the Pirelli tires again. But Jody Christie and Raphael Archambault, they're both going really good, and it uh, should be a fun race. I wish there was a few more bikes out on the grid there, but, you know, we're... Uh, just going to ride and hope for a win. Well, you mentioned riding uh, on new racetracks. Of course, this has been your uh, the story of your life for the last couple of years. And every time you go down to a track in the States, it's all brand new to you. And you're racing against kids that have probably had a few trips around. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, difficult sometimes, for sure, learning the track. But I think it's helping my overall riding ability, just being pressured into going fast on a track I don't know right away. And so it's fun. So one more appearance down in the States. That'll be New Jersey on the Sturgis Cycle Triumph. And then uh, Mosport, of course, you've got coming up as well. The doubleheader at Mosport, uh, you must be looking forward to that one. Mosport, I'm looking forward to. I really like that track. And then after uh, New Jersey, we're actually also doing Homestead, Miami, and New Orleans. Oh, splendid. So yeah. that has been added to your uh, to your schedule. Yeah. I thought it was all over in New Jersey. That's nope. good news. We're I uh, finishing out the AMA season. You know, we've uh, gained even more support from Triumph and uh, picked up a teammate, Jason DeSalvo. So we're uh, going to give her a go. I didn't want to say anything, but there is some really great uh, breaking news coming out. All I would suggest is Canadian race fans, just keep your ears and eyes open because uh, uh, Triumph, I think, is going to be a little well uh, better known in Canada than next year, perhaps, uh, and certainly in the United States of America as well uh, than they are now. Kenny, I wanted to touch on the fact, and I have this from a good source, that this motorcycle has proven to be one of the, if not the fastest motorcycle and speed traps in AMA Pro Racing. Yeah, it's, um, you know, Scott Miller's doing our engine work, and every AMA race we've been to, we've set the fastest speed trap in at least one session, and it's... Uh, Great motor, very reliable, and Scott has figured out a way to get more horsepower out of it than anyone should. So. Well, you see, Kenny, there's double edge to this sword. First of all, the, the sharp edge tells you you got the fastest motorcycle out there, but the other edge says that you're finishing in 12th and looking for a top 10 finish, so the expectations, sir, are perhaps a little bit higher. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, I'm on a motorcycle that's definitely capable of winning, and it's just up to me to get it there, and slowly but surely we, uh, we'll, we'll make it up to the front. This team doesn't put a lot of pressure on you that way, though. No, the team doesn't put any pressure on me at all. It's very calm. We're always having fun. We're just we're racing motorcycles because we do it because we love it, because it's so much fun. And uh, But, you know, realistically, we can win on this motorcycle, so that's, that's where we want to be. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Stuff. Ken, thanks for taking the time to talk to us, and uh, most of all, get out there and have some fun. Let's we'll see a smile like that on your face when you come back <laughs> in off the racetrack, okay? Be awesome. Kenny Reedman on the Sturgis Cycle Triumph, the 675, the only three-cylinder motorcycle in the K&N Sport Bike National Championship Final.